This is probably a standard deck, but it always starts with one Nico, so you have access to all the birds. Garen is probably best in slot. And then you just type in bird. 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 Wide boars cause no three drop. Oh, we don't have a three drop. Oh. That's probably good. You have quick attack bird? Yeah, I did. So I played a bird deck last year, well, less than a year ago when these cards came out and I thought Royal Shimmerwing was like the entire reason that this deck was semi-playable because you'd just be vomiting birds <laughs> on the board and then you play Royal Shimmerwing and you actually just take over the board fully. We're correct. Is it turtle? No, this is standard. I mean, he's gone. Akshan's getting rotated, dude. He's gone. He's a goner. Rotate Akshan? Yeah, I mean, he... But dude, we have two of these in the deck. Just like last time, and I drew both. How? Leak? Bro, that's been common. No I don't even know what the hell they're rotating. I only know about Akshan. <laughs> They've literally announced that like two months ago. Where do you stand on cold shots? Bro really said leak. <laughs> now a celebration can truly begin. Give us some. Yeah, no, you you would forget about that. I would too, to be honest. I would too. First chase you killed me with my champs got ass. Same for me. All of it was gone, man. Everything. I had nothing left. I'm just gonna spam these birds. And then play Ferocious Fluffs to kill them. That's insane. Uh huh. All right, Bucko, that's enough, isn't it? What are we at? Six mana, so I can't play these two. Damn, it's one off. Do you think landmark champs are coming back? No. There's too many of them gone. And I think it's very likely that it's one out, one in. Respect the ocean and all yeah, that's my deck. Spoons. Okay, based. Never mind, I take it all back. They are based. Coolest deck in the game, actually. I take it all back. I do have to beat you, though. Because birds. I wonder why is there a Lucian in Zek? Well, we're playing small birds. So Lucian is also a 2 1. Just like Fleet Feather Tracker. All the birds are 2 1s. This is a 2 1 normally. If it's not buff, this is a 2 1. Valor is a 2 1. So Lucian is basically a bird 2. He's just missing the bird tag. That's the, the, yeah, that's the reason. Nice to meet you. I'm Isla. Lucian is bird. Yeah, it is. Okay, I can predict the future, guys. Here's what's gonna happen. Next turn, I'm gonna play the Ferocious Fluffs, and they're gonna play the Sky's Descent. If that's actually what happens, I'm kind of okay with it. If we lose to a Sky's Descent from them, I'm like, yeah, no, that's, that's okay. Will be done. You gotta travel. Have a, have a good trip, Pink Rose. Where are you going? Big trip? Small trip? Average trip? Okay, no, I'm just gonna do it. I don't care. I'm just gonna do it. A game. Go on okay, they're, they're like flooding the board because they're horrified. But this is exact lethal, right? Two impact, two impact, two impact, one impact. <laughs> Still possible. 
Still possible for a treasure to blow us out. Kung Pu Fanda with the nine months. Congratulations, it's a boy. Congratulations, Kung Pu Fanda. What are, what are we naming the boy? Okay, it's not lethal anymore. However, it's almost lethal. Cool. cool. My life or theirs. <laughs> Ezreal? We're naming the boy Ezreal? Alright, I'm gonna pass then. I don't want the baby. You can have it back. Nah, this card is fun, man. This is a fun little card. Really, next round is lethal? Not necessarily. They have treasures. They also have ways to kill these two, and then if they just block this, it's only one HP. Things are never that simple. Wait, the, the buff happens later? I thought the buff happened first. Hmm. Goodbye. And now I will turn this Nico into a bird. Watch me. Told you. <laughs> oh my god! My board! It's actually not lethal anymore now. Let us party most hearty! Not another step. Oh, so close. <laughs> that was, uh, that took longer than I thought it would. Yeah, I mean, it could be Sky Suzette, it could be Ruination, it could be, it could be anything, man. It could also be something completely terrible. <laughs> Rage quit. I'm pretty sure I advertised this deck as being complete high roll. And if you need to high roll to win, that means you can also low roll and, and lose because of that. Yeah, man. I think they left. It's a win for the birds, though. Birds win. I guess it is kind of hard for a deck like this to go wrong. It's like, you're just playing mid-range, you're just playing chonky units. Even if the Talon Strike probably isn't that good of a card. Also, let me equip my skins, what am I doing, man? I got, I got some banger skins here and I'm not putting them on. Okay. I think we, uh, I, I think cutting Lucian probably would be fine for like a, um, a Jarvan. I think Jarvan might be better. Not one, not, yeah, they needed to have three Sky Splitters. They drew 12 cards. So if that many of them are Sky Splitter, it's just, it's just rough, man. There's not much you can do about it. It's mid-range versus mid-range. Well, they're not even really mid-range. They were playing elusives, but like with Nar and Zed. So the fact that an elusive deck can blow you out like that just because Sky Splitter exists is, uh, yeah, it's unfortunate. That's not nearly enough mastery points on Lurk to actually beat me. It's it's just not enough. It's far from enough.
Did they, what, what happened here? Did they high roll? Is, is this saying hello or am I, or is this a pike? I think it's a pike. Lurk barely plays any spells. That's not true. They, I mean, the spells they do play are very important to their game plan. It's like, yeah, Pike, call the pack, rally. Yeah, I think that's it, actually. <laughs> Can't, I think I think of the other ones. What do they have? They can't hover, call the pack? Yeah, they can't. Not bad for a uh, blind pie kit, to be honest. Oh, that's a great draw. The only thing that would kind of mess with us here is Rek'Sai. Because we could just play blocking Badger Bear into Garen. Yeah, sure. Is emotes? We are getting emoted a lot lately. Yeah. I think this is friendly, though. Seems friendly enough. Oh man, they'd be so screwed if they didn't have this pike. Doesn't all that all slow down? Slow and steady wins the war, Lucian. So, not to backseat, but I noticed from the Yasuo YouTube video that the that stairs buff to their deck was pretty powerful, and I don't see you playing that. It seems like it would help you win more games. Oh, wait, Mr. Hanky Pie, thank you for the bits. You, I think you're onto something here. Hmm. After turn three, minus six mana on all your cards, and you give a random epic item to all your cards as well? You know, I think I, I think I should try to go for that next time. Yeah. It's pretty good. Okay, Pike is at eight out of 15, but they're, they're, they're getting like a uh, non... N non death from below pike. Okay, now, now they do have the pike. Uh huh. They, they're printing pikes. However, I, I I got some bad news for bro because we have magical feathering. Yeah, and they're forced to attack here, so we'll just do this. Oh man, that's such a blowout, dude. Oh my god. That is actually just the most insane magical feathering, just blowout. Because now they can't play Pike on us. So they're just dead. 4, 8, 10, 12. Yeah, they're dead. There's absolutely zero interaction. Just dead in the open. The bird deck with literally zero birds. Yeah, GG. <laughs> yeah, okay. Nice. So I'm going to switch Lucian for Jarvan because I don't even think Lucian levels very frequently. And our, since our stuff dies so fast, it's not like we can ever build a board. So let's let's actually just play uh, play the Jarvan instead of Lucian. There's also a Balatro video on the main channel on Saturday, and it is a banger. So much work went into that. Shout out, to, of course, to Blue Chaman, who, uh, who edits these videos for the channel. Always does an incredible job. I'm pretty excited for it. Hope you guys will like it. I'm, I'm really excited about just doing different content from time to time. And I felt like Bellatro was a great way to start. I've been really enjoying that game. Bellatro. Any good Neil decks that, you, that utilize Tide Dancer? Honestly, Tide Dancer is the kind of card that's like barely not making the cut in most Neil decks. I think you could easily play Tide Dancer and just be happy about it. It's a bit of a, uh, like a bird, I'm noticing. So they Z next round. It's bad. Actually, it's not that bad. This goes to five. So I, I guess we just killed the Z here, right?
Pretty sure these decks stop running hate spikes in Sunner, so we're just gonna do this. Hell yeah, dude. We take those. So now we open attack with the boys, and then we magical feathering afterwards. God, these are just not cards we want to top deck with buffs. Yeah, they had a, another one. So we will probably have to give up one dog to not take too much damage from Zed. Unless they develop, in which ways we can play the Garen. Oh. Or we just play the 7-7. Seven, seven. Yeah. Let's just play the 7-7, seven, seven, right? Uh, that'll work. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Okay. They won't suffer long. So we can open attack, pull this with Jarvan. I think that's pretty good. Not disappoint me. Bro didn't attack with Fearsome. They, they might have been afraid of another... Um, what's it called? Another form up? Or something? It is a really good card to be honest. A 2-3. It's kind of incredibly good. So they probably go with the free attack thing here. Oh, nope. Okay. Um. Hmm. Hey, Krabby. That's my resting face. Am I dead to this open attack? I actually might be. Our no, we have a we have a lucid blocker. Never mind. Lucid blocker is huge here. I could have also killed the 2 1 so they don't get the shark, but this should honestly just be fine. God, this Jarvan is gorgeous, man. This is the first time or the first game we put in Jarvan, he instantly levels against this deck, you know? Should we target Ephemeral? It's like super likely they have another Ephemeral, so if, they, if they're if they sitting on 7 mana, I don't feel comfortable doing that. I, I have limited interaction. Yeah, no, I mean, normally it is. Normally, it depends on the deck you're playing, right? Like, w w with this deck, I don't actually know if you'd ever want to target like that. It's like sometimes you have, like, two Mystic Shots in hand, and that's easier than having, like, interaction in the Demacia deck, because that's two strikes. It's just less consistent. But to do and die, protect the faithful. Yeah, the issue is still the free attack card. But we should be able to survive. If they free attack, we have... We have a block on the shark with Garen. Plus we block the left one with the dog, and then we champion strength. I played against you on the triple sky, dude. That was that was such a ridiculous game, man. I got completely blown out four different combats when I was like on the verge of taking over every single time. I'm just gonna rip it. Oh. GG. I top decked the third one. Yeah, I saw. I saw. It was it was not a great look. Dark day for Rune Terra when Elusive's win, man. And GG. Alright, nice plus seven. You're you're dead still. Whee. Why did I sit on that? Yeah, they should have started with it. If they opened with that, they would have been in a much better spot. Because I would have actually lost a unit. They'd still be dead though, because I would always keep my Jarvan and my Garen alive. I couldn't play form up. Plus champion strength. So I think it was just wrong of them to do it like that. Yeah, it doesn't really look like a bird deck right now, does it? It, it just doesn't. There's not much birding going on here. It's a dark day when Elusive's wind and every day is dark because of you, Sonny. Raise our banners. Demacia prevails. All in Elusive decks, though? I, I mean... 
No, okay, fine, fine, fine. Ionia elusives, right? Ionia elusives is a, it's a different breed. Damn. Sat a minute in queue to, <laughs> to play against darkness. I am I'm I'm glad this deck is no longer insane, by the way. I didn't like when Darkness was good. I wonder is Darkness being good better than a mid-range meta? Yeah, I'd still take the mid-range meta, I think. Big head, big brain! Smooth brain fall! <sighs> okay. Big boy. Hey, Sonny, I was the one with the Lurker deck. It was a nice match. My dream of playing against just finally happened. I hope we play again, and next time I win. <laughs> yeah, GG, dude. It was a good game. Gotta just get some damage in here. Okay, so we could play the Shimmerwing, and then next turn we pull out the Jarvan. Another Pythos. Oh, okay. Pythos. Sure. That's fine. Darkness hasn't been good for two years, though. No, you're right. Oh, baby, that is that is good. That is good! Oh my god. Yo. That is... That is sick, actually. I'm gonna go with Garen. Garen seems good here. Best use of Talent Strike probably ever? Probably ever. Like, actually. Uh, this dies to the Perilous Pastry, but that's fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that's fine. More like worse use of Senna ever. Yeah, tapping out with Senna can't feel great. That can't be good. Okay, so... We could, we could like, hold on to the Jarvan for a little bit longer. Play... I will shape death as easily as clay. Steals three. No, I'll, I'll do this into the snow dog. Okay, yeah, let's play the snow dog. Make the dark and then we'll open attack. Jarvan pulls this and we are good to go. Nora Vega has been a thing, but I don't really count it as darkness. Yeah, no, I, I hear you. I don't I don't really see it that way either. It, I think it is a cool use of Vagar though. I I I hate how high rolling Nora Vagar can be, but it, it is a cool deck to exist. It is a, it is cool that it's like, it doesn't seem like it should have ever been a deck, but somehow it was, right? It, somehow it functions. High rolls and all. That seems wrong. But was that the only thing that, oh, otherwise, yeah, they had to do that, otherwise that. But now I rally with Garen. Plus I open attack on you. Plus if you play a block you here, I have Cataclysm. Oh, we actually just kind of completely obliterated them. Yeah, GG. Raise our banners. Demacia prevails. It's not better, not an eternal at least. No, an eternal it's definitely not, because Eternal has Alliance Bannerman. And Alliance Bannerman is not an okay card. <laughs> yeah, we're playing a bird deck, but Yadulski Snowdog, right? Yadulski Snowdog. Uh, it's a card that exists. It's a card that exists that is just kind of good. Uh oh. 
It's the bursting backpack version. I like not having to worry about the Nico level though. Like I'd be I'd be fuming if I missed turn one. Another day in the field. Oh. More He's leveled. If Lucian is a bird, Yadulski is also a bird. No, no, no. To be a bird, you need to be a 2-1. You need to have two attack and one health. That That's how you become a bird. Lucian doesn't have that. Uh, we're, we're just kind of screwed against second Teemo, right? I got nothing for that Teemo. Turn two Teemo level. Okay, now, now we're not screwed against Teemo anymore. Beg your pardon? Beg your pardon? Okay, don't play Teemo. Don't play Teemo. Don't. Okay, we can still be friends. That's fine, then. That's fine. We can live with that. Observe and learn. If that is their play, I'm gonna go do this, then. This into real Shimmerwing? Or maybe Garen. Nah, Garen is better, isn't it? Yeah, I think I'm playing Garen because I just want to level Garen to start rallying. I think I think just rallying ASAP is the best way to win here. This would have been good if they played another blocker because then we'd get like three pulls plus the five damage from the Royal Sh 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 Shimmering. That guy. Yeah, this is fine though. We lose one unit, but we get closer to the Garen level. Worst case scenario is Teemo. Worst case scenario is Teemo, and we don't have an answer. That's not Teemo. Okay, cool. We took a risk, and it paid off. Okay, now we have another Teemo blocker. Hell yeah. Yeah, they play backpack on one, backpack on two, and then Teemo. <laughs> it's still funny because a single Omen Hog would just stop that play, right? Oh my god. Is that bad? Kind of feels like it's bad. They grow up so fast. Bro, I hate it so much when this deck starts doing this. It's like, okay, you've drawn like four rooms randomly, and now it's time for me to just send it all to face. Oh no. This is the most damage I can get. They're all subtypes. So, Ferocious Fluff Time? Bro, there is no way we we'll lose to Karina here. It doesn't happen. There's no shot. Look at how good this setup is! It's a full board with impact! That's six impact! Tell me it ain't so. Tell me I don't just die to Karina here, please! Don't those fools know? I own this city. Okay, thank you. Loath, be merciful. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh, okay. I guess four was about the average, probably? Must have been about the average. Okay, cool. Yeah, there we go. Man, I should have probably tried to get close to killing Karina just in case. Because I can't rally with Garen, but they could have like condensed Karina and played her instantly. It's a pretty solid hand, honestly. Just got absolutely clapped by Jinx Echo Deck. The deck is so confusing to watch. Yeah, I hear you. I, I've i never been a fan of that deck, personally. Um, it's just always kind of felt like it shouldn't have been a deck and it has so many like different angles that work too well because it's just all aggressive. I don't know. I, it's not. So, um, unfortunate thing about Garen 
is that he gets locked down by Morgana. But if they have Morgana, it's bad for us. It's not good. Oh my... Okay. Absolute Giga Chat. Battlefield Prowess? I... I... Oh my god, I wish I was this cool. For justice, for I'm so screwed by Morgana though, right? What... Honestly, what a chat move. I gotta play this. I... It takes it takes one bad, uninteresting card for me to just be like, I need to play this too. Right now. Play it after this deck. We're gonna play Blatra after this. Otherwise I would have. Bro, that's two stances. That level's Udir. Oh god. If they play two stances here, though, I, I guess it's not the end of the world. If they double stance, I can still win. Because they don't have a board. The best thing about Bethany is that it makes some trash slow spells into decent. Yeah, I agree. I had to wait there. I can't give this one challenger. I like these stats are too big for me now, you know? I I gotta do what I gotta do. <laughs> what? Brother. Wait, couldn't they have just killed us? Ooh, that works out kind of well for them. At least they can't do the deal one to everything. Yeah, we, we got outside it really hard, so now I just I gotta pray that I can find lethal somehow. I think this is probably a good way to get lethal, but then they do this. Deal one to everything. If they deal one to everything. Yeah, four. I think this is the play. They can deal two to everything. Three of my units die, but then they don't have mana for harsh winds. And on four mana, they can use one freeze max. They'll be at three HP. So all I'll have to do at that point is use four up. It's it's kind of strange, but I think this is the play. Any mana they spent will basically mean that we get lethal. Yeah, so this is fine, right? Because they deal two to themselves. I'm just going to take this. I'm not even going to try to protect my units. Because if I hit three times with impact, which I can do right now, it's also just a game win. Single? Single doesn't even do it, right? Single still makes us hit with impact. It needs to be like Bridal Steel Flash Freeze or something. No, even that doesn't do it, because then I give uh, sharp side here. You know how Gentleman's Duel gives you plus 2 HP and then it strikes? Could you imagine if there was a spell that, like, s s freezes the unit and then strikes it? It's like a single unit plus Frostbite. How, how, how expensive would that spell need to be for it to be balanced? Like a single combat Frostbite in one. Alright, GG. Yee! Ah, pretty cool, man. Uh, I, let's check out that deck. Let's check out their deck. Let's see. So, Battlefield Prowess is a three of Magical Fettering, Starlit Seer, Gentleman's Duel, Cataclysm, Bethany, Bellows Breath as well. Oh, man, they don't have 
any units. Whew. It's a lot of slow speed spells, yeah. Only one horse wins. Yeah, they have very little interaction. Mr. Shifter, not a quitter. If 